the chi-square test is for two categorical variables. It is to test whether there is an association between categorical variables. For instance, smoking status, which has three groups, past smoker, current smoker, and non-smoker, with lung cancer, which has two groups, cancer and non-cancer. In video three, we talked about one proportional test. It is to test if one proportion is different from a fixed number. The chi-square test is also used to test if two or more independent proportions are equal. This test utilizes a contingency table to analyze the data. The categories from one variable appear in the rows, and the categories for the other variable appear in the columns. There are several conditions for the test. There's no relationship between the subjects in each group. Frequencies for each cell should be at least five. If not, Fisher's exact test is more appropriate. A study was conducted to look at the risk of fractures in 55 to 80 year old women, according to whether their drinking water was high calcium or normal control over five years. Of the 148 subjects in the higher calcium drinking group, 21 women had fractures. Of the 121 subjects in the control group, 11 women had fractures. The data was saved in Excel as two different forms. The first form, which has one subject per row, named fracture, contains three variables, ID, calcium drink, fracture, you can see I have one and two in front of yes and no, just for the default order of SAS Studio results. The second form, named sum fracture, is a summary of the first one, and it contains the frequency count of each group. We will do the analysis for these two different forms of data. Log into SAS on demand and open SAS Studio interface. Upload fracture data. Import it into SAS system. After run, data work dot import created. Go to Tasks, Statistics, double click on Table Analysis. In Table Analysis window, choose the data we just created from Fracture, Work out Import. Add row variable, calcium drink, column variable, fracture. Leave rest of them blank. In Options, suppress the plots. In frequencies, check the observed. In percentages, check the row and the column. In statistics, check the chi-squared statistics. Check odd ratio and the relative risk if you have two by two table. In exact test, check the Fisher's exact test. Click on run. The results show the 2 by 2 contingency table. Each cell contains frequency count, row percentage, and column percentage. For instance, in the first cell, of the 148 total high calcium drinking subjects, 21 women had fractures, which is 14.19%. The chi-square statistic is 1.651 with one degree of freedom, and the p-value is 0.1988. So there's no association between drinking high calcium drink and the bone fracture. Since we have a large enough count in each cell, Fisher's exact test will not be reported. Usually, people would report the odds ratio for association for two by two table. The odds ratio in here is 1.65, and 95% confidence interval is 0.76 to 3.58, which cross the odds ratio 1.65. This also indicates that 
there's no association between high calcium intake and bone fracture. Now let us do the summarized data. Upload the sum fracture data. Input into SAS system. You can see this time the system name my data worked out import one. Go to tasks, statistics, double click on table analysis. In table analysis window, choose the data we just created from some fracture, which is worked out import one. Add row variable calcium drink, column variable fracture. This time, click on additional rows. Add frequency count as count. Do the same for options window. The results show exactly the same as the other data results. This is for today. Thanks for watching.